Good morning, my name is Elliot and welcome to our UARC Home Live Tours. We are here at Gregson Hall this morning. Gregson Hall is one of our upperclassmen residence halls. It serves over 200 students, or about 203. Um, and one of my favorite parts about Gregson is it's one of the oldest dorms, it's one of the best remodeled dorms inside, but it's in a smack dab middle of campus, so everything you could need is all around you. So we'll give you a quick little pan of everything. Yeah, what are we seeing here? Right. Actually, I'm going to show off the detail of the building. Do you know how many floors it is? There are three residential floors and one basement. Wow. Beautiful architectural detail there. Beautiful. Yeah. So it's nice because it's literally like right in the big middle of stuff. So over here you have Bruff. Bruff is not even a stone's throw away. That's where uh, one of our main dining areas. It's also got the uh, Starbucks and the Founders uh, Dining Center. So anything from Slim's Chicken to the Olympus Greek style. And there's Dixon right down there. Right, I think I'm pointed right. straight towards the sun, but there's Dixon. Mm -hmm. And then Gibson. Gibson, close to the uh, Chi Omega Theater. And then over that way we have the bus station right down there. So right down it's there. nice and rainy or nice and cold. Don't have to walk in it, which is very nice. And then a beautiful big tree right here. Yes. So that was a 360 there. Um, have you taken the bus before? Uh, yeah. Razorback Transit? Oh, yeah. Oh, Where do you yeah. go? What do you use it for? Well, typically I just go around campus unless I get on the wrong bus and I took a 45-minute trip instead of a 5-minute trip. So that was fun. <laughs> Where were you going? Uh, I tried to go back to Maple Hill, and ah. I ended up going all the way down to Weddington. So Okay. Oh, oops. You know. All right. Well, let's go ahead and head inside. All right. All right. And if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask them. We're happy to answer them as we go into Gregson. Thank you for fobbing us in, Kent. You're welcome. And, you know, a lot of the people who are here are going to be sophomores or juniors, so... They know about the FOB system, but do you mind just kind of explaining what that is? So the way it works, when you're giving it, when you check in, you'll be given a key and a FOB. And so what happens is the FOB is what gets you in and out of the building. There are these FOB readers by every door, and what you'll do is you'll just hold the FOB up to the reader. It'll beep, and it'll let you in. And the nice thing is it's super secure because only a Gregson FOB can get into the Gregson building. You can't be in Palm Print and come here and try to get in. So it keeps out all the uh, those underclassmen. <laughs> So let me show off this lobby. It's kind of small, but it's beautiful. There's, is that marble? I think that's marble right there, maybe. Gregson Lodge. Nice little chairs there. And then these uh, beautiful staircases lead down to the basement area, which we're going to go check out here in just a moment. The front desk is located right behind here. Yeah. And so the front desk is where you'll handle all of your mail. You want to go ahead and you can go up there and look at it and then go downstairs? Sure. So front desk area. So Miss Missy is our administrative specialist here, and I love Miss Missy. She does a great job. But this is where she will be every day. And uh, the other nice thing is you'll have somebody here until midnight every single night just in case you lock yourself out, you need something, whatever you might need. Somebody will be here until midnight every night. And so, if you look behind you, there's some... Have you ever uh, locked yourself out? Oh. Locked myself out naked, locked myself out... Yeah, everything. <laughs> wow, okay. But cool. nice, ornate-looking mailboxes. And so, if you get any packages, just send them here. Yeah, let's look at go. those over here. Sort of good detail from the original building. They're way back. Yes, indeed. Okay. Well, great. Um, anything else about the front desk area, or should we go check out... The basement area. We should go hang out downstairs. Let's go hang out, which is kind of where everybody hangs out, mm -hmm. is what I hear. The, uh, the basement is the social hub of Gregson. And so they don't really have common areas on the floors themselves, but mm -hmm. the nice thing is they have this huge area downstairs where everyone can just come hang out, play pool, play ping pong, whatever you need. They also have a couple of study rooms, and so we'll go down and show you what all is going on down there. I don't know if you can pick up the detail here, but man, these... Uh, are shined up very nice, waiting for hundreds of feet to come across them in less than three weeks. Yeah, right. Movement's coming up soon. Movement is coming up soon. So now we're headed down into the kind of basement area. And I mean, basement's kind of a misnomer because when you think of a basement, you think of a place that, you know, it's kind of a little musty and tucked away. Mm -hmm. This is actually the center, the center of life on, in Gregson. And it's wonderful. They have a reading section. They have any sort of, like, uh, if you're watching, want to watch any... 
What so, was that again? I'm sorry, I lost you for a moment. So one of the nice things is we have this nice little reading section right here. Uh -huh. um, perfect for just some quiet time. If you want to get away and get lost in a book, that's this is the place for you. And the other nice thing is they have a nice big TV around the corner. So if you or your friends want to watch any sort of, you know, sports or anything like that, you can just chill over here in this lounge section and be good to go. And here's um, recycling. If you want to throw that stuff away, which we highly encourage. This is this a nice is lounge. Area. Yeah. Nice and pretty. Nice big screen TV. Wish I had that in my room. <laughs> that is a nice big TV. And uh, from again, from all I hear, people use this space a lot. Oh, so all hours of the evening. So have you, you, where did you live? I lived in Hots freshman year. Mm -hmm. um, and where are you living right now? I'm in Maple Hill East. So, but you come here occasionally socially? Mm-hmm. Cool. Oh yeah, some of my upperclassmen friends, they hang out here. Some of the people, I work in conference services right now, some of our friends are going to be actually living here next year. And so we're going to be here all the time, hanging out and doing all sorts of fun stuff. Very nice. So show us the rest of the spaces here. All right. Well, right in here, this is the main kitchen, and the kitchen is huge. This is the biggest kitchen on campus, I'd like to bet. Um, <laughs> nice little ice machine and fridge, um, fully decked out with a stove and oven. I mean, it's wonderful in here. So if you want, you and your upperclassmen friends want to hang out, make some dinner together, maybe bake some cookies before finals week, this is the place to be. Sure. I mean, you know, we understand people want, certainly you have a dining plan on campus, right. but you know, hey, you may just want to cook your own meal with your friends, and mm -hmm. this is a great place to do that. And sometimes cafeteria food, you know, you just kind of get done with it. <laughs> yeah. Take a little change of pace, as they say. Exactly. And All so right. Right next door is the, uh, the laundry room, and so plenty of washers and dryers in here. Nice and spacious. They got a wash basin over there, and then they have a folding table tucked away back here. Oh, I didn't even see that. Let's see. It's hiding. It is hiding. Tucked away table. Okay. So one of the nice things about what we did this summer is we had we just partnered with a new company, and all of these washers and dryers are brand new. So if you look right here, they have these QR codes on them. And so what you can do is if you scan that with your phone, it'll take you to their website, and you can actually check to see what washers and dryers are occupied versus unoccupied so you don't come down and all of them are already used. And the other nice thing is you can set notifications on your phone to be like, hey, your stuff's done, or hey, you need to come move your stuff to the dryer. So pretty high tech, pretty nice. Laundry alert service, we're rolling it out this fall for yes, you guys. Um, and also I'll note that there are no uh, coin receipts. There's no place to put coins here, so that's all covered by your room fees. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry everything about everything is free. Bringing all the quarters and everything like that. So let's continue to move around. All right. And again, any questions that come in, we're happy to answer as we tour the basement area of Gregson. So here is another entrance. It's down by uh, the band or the music building. Mm -hmm. um, pool to all hours of the night. You don't have to check it out at the front desk. They trust you enough now that you're upperclassmen. Um, <laughs> but pool, vending machines, and they have a co-ed restroom back here. Yeah, there's vending machine, vending machine. For any late night snacks. Right. Um, and we're also close to Club Red, right? That is true. So Club uh, Red is built into the first floor of Bruff, and so that's where you can spend flex and get any sort of snacks or drinks or whatever you might need before your class or even after class. I think it's literally, well, yeah literally across the street but just mm -hmm. a little bit down so probably 30 40 50 feet not even okay right there so there's a bathroom right there mm -hmm. and then yeah i'll follow you around all right so behind me in through here we have two private study rooms and so here's one of them um nice there's one walk in there if you don't mind all right nice quiet area big whiteboard so if you have any you know math problems or physics or anything you need to be doing can visualize up there. Mm -hmm. um, this one's nice because it's nice and closed in. Um, it's it's more private than the other one just because it's smaller. You don't really have as much room for uh, people to come in and be loud or anything like that. But I like this one a lot. Yeah, and there's more than one. That's right. And so across the hall, we are going into the big one right now. Popcorn machine. I just have to note. Just in case. A nice little popcorn snack. machine. Yeah, yeah, for studying. There's a ping pong <laughs> table right over there as well. If you need a study break, of course. Yes. Ping pong is therapy. As usual. And then this is the more conference room style of study room. So again, big whiteboard, um, be able to visualize what you're working on, um, but plenty of seats for plenty of friends. You use whiteboards a lot? I do. Mm -hmm. I like to see what I'm doing. It's a nice way to share what you're 
In the process of thinking about, I agree. In the process of genius is yes. what I like to say. Whether or not they actually agree with that, we'll see. <laughs> so we can leave through here, right? Right. Through this so side? Okay. Connects back to the lodge. Say hi to Mr. Kent. Hello. Yay. And so now we're going to go upstairs and actually go see a room and the bathroom. Sure. Can you tell us about the uh, other office that's located in here too? The, I believe it's the Enhanced Learning Center. Mm -hmm. So the Enhanced Learning Center, or the ELC, um, that's where a lot of students can go for tutoring. So if you want to be a tutor or you need tutoring, that's the great place to get connected. Um, there are also classes, or somewhat like classes, they're called SIs, or Supplementary Instructions, and so many classes offer an SI where you can go, you can get extra practice from a student teacher, um, and typically, the nice thing is if you attend SIs and you go to all of them, you can get bonus points at the end of the year, so oh. I highly recommend that. So is that what happened? You got some bonus points? Oh, and it saved my butt one time, so <laughs> very For going nice. to the SIs. I think they offer writer, writing tutorship mm -hmm. and... Um, just all kinds of general academic help. So that's a nice resource to have in the building. Very nice. Yeah, okay. We'll follow you on up. All right. Up from G to two. Right, and so one of the things about Gregson is because it's such an, it's an older building, um, there's not an elevator in here, but it's nice because you're gonna have great cabs by the end of the year, <laughs> which I like to say. Now, um, typically Gregson and Gibson are administered as far as housing goes, together, right? Mm -hmm. And sometimes I've heard them referred to as the G unit because right. they're both together like that. That's right. And the nice thing is the, uh, the coordinator for residence education over those buildings is Mr. Eric Hall, and he is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I cannot speak highly enough about him. <laughs> about Greg Hall, yes. All, All right. right. All right, so now we're on the floor. We are on the floor. Uh, let me point out this little space here. So there's no common areas necessarily, but there's a little sitting area right there. Just a little hangout spot. One Another by one each down there. Window. Yeah. And so the way it works, kind of, it's like a, it's a sideways eye. So you have each little wing on the side, and then one long hallway in the middle. Ah. And so there will be two restrooms. Mm -hmm. uh, it's split, so guys will be on one side, girls will be on the other side. Um, and so it's split smack dab in the middle. Gotcha. So this right here is one of our restrooms and it's uh, actually one of our favorite what? restrooms because it's a, a, technically a ladies room. Yes. But if we go in and look around, there's Well, some... the, yes, the uh, architecture was built when this was both male and female. So you have a nice little touch there of using that decoratively. So let's see. This is the shower area. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and head in there and show everybody what the shower looks like. Oh, you right. want to lead us in there? I'd love to. All right. So, Didn't think I'd be in the shower with you, but here we go. Uh, well, I hadn't been in here until about a year ago. Mm -hmm. um, I'm about to go into my junior year, so I never really got an experience here. But when I first came in here, I was blown away by the bathrooms. Like, private shower area, where the changing area. There's three of them in every bathroom. That's not there. I'll give them a look. So you have the common sort of sitting area here. But then you also have a pretty spacious, big shower area right here as well. There's the handle areas as well so and there's how many there's three in each bathroom three in each bathroom and there's two bathrooms on the floor mm -hmm. so. And so plenty of space plenty of toilets and then I really like how spacious the uh, the vanity section is mm -hmm. the hand washing area I love this bathroom to death so oh, wow you check yourself wow. out in the morning this is the perfect place to be there are there's what six I think I believe so yeah. and more on this side for just checking yourself out very nice. Beautiful. Nice upperclassman bathroom there. Nothing but the finest for y'all. <laughs> what year are you? I'm about to be a junior. About to be a junior, rising junior. That's right. And what do you study? I am an honors finance major. Okay. <laughs> what would you like to do with that? Uh, I'd love to help people, you know, manage their money a little bit better and, uh, you know, prepare for retirement, be able to take care of their family, stuff like that. Right on, right on. Useful stuff. That's right. So we're walking down the long corridor of the second floor. So this is the split. Split from male to female side, okay. So now we're on the male side, and then we're gonna go into room 201 here. So this is a typical Gregson room. And what I love about these rooms is they're huge. Like there is plenty they of really room are. for whatever you need. So I'm pretty sure take it all in for a moment. 
two of everything. There's the new cable hookup, which we're doing a Prep Your Tech session tomorrow, and we'll talk more about the cable system that we're you doing from Cox. Oh, it's going to be very nice this year, all HD. Mm. So, um, yeah, thanks for opening that up. So that cubby area there. Top. And can you open that cubby? I can, can. we'll see if I'm tall enough. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so a nice little cubby space for whatever you want to put there. And then if you wouldn't mind maybe opening up one of these dressers. I can do that. Thank you. Ooh, maybe. Yeah. And are the, is the bottom one, are they all the same size? Are they, they are all the, same? all the same size. Okay, so you've got three that are the same size. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the beds in here. And the beds are regulars or XLs? They are twin Extra XLs. Mm -hmm. Extra long twin. Extra long, so that's 80, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. 80 inches long. And we've got the desk area. You want to go ahead and pull, up, uh, pull apart one of the chairs? Yeah, let's show them the, the chair yeah, trick. Okay. Can you do the chair do the trick for us? Perfect. So it's really a rocking chair, mm -hmm. essentially. And either a stool or a table if you're using a rocking chair. Yeah. I've heard that these are very good for gaming. Okay, so the console gaming, leaning mm -hmm. back. Fantastic. Well, are there any questions about the room as we're walking around in here? We know everything. I, yeah, right. <laughs> we don't. We try to get you the answers. Okay. Well, that is fine. Let's go then to the um, <clears throat> corner room and finish out there because the view is just so good. Even for a second floor, it's a really good view. It is, it is. Gregson isn't the tallest of buildings, but you still get a very nice view of everything. Mm -hmm. So, plenty of staircases. Yeah, yeah, there's two staircases, right? And then there's two on each corner as well. So, you'll have four per floor. So, you got options. <laughs> when you want to go up and down, sure. Here's the other restroom. Yes, the man's, men's restroom on this floor. So this is the uh, part of that eye you mentioned, because mm -hmm. there's an eye on each floor. Okay. So then if you're in a corner room, and this one is, is 214, mm -hmm. this would be what you will see. I think it's a little bit bigger, and it's got double windows instead of just one window, which is very nice. Mm -hmm. The other nice thing about the rooms is each one has individual thermostat use. So if you like it cold and your neighbor likes it hot, that's fine. So you get to make whatever you want to be. Let's take a look at this very nice view, which you can see. Let's see, you can see the Ozark Mountains right there. Not bad. And there's some parking right here as well. So good to be aware of. And that, that is um, uh, Yoko, or is it Humphreys? Let's see, which one we looking at? The first one is Humphreys, the one behind it is Yoakum. Right, okay. So that gives you some sense of where you are. All right, well, you want to wave us out and say goodbye to all the good folks in internet Facebook land? I would love to. Thank y'all for joining us today.